Hey everyone, we're heading up to Crab King this morning to get some supplies for the greenhouse. There she is. So pretty much all the supplies come from Crab King. And we're gonna pick up some vermiculite, some perlite, um, some nutrients. Oh, oasis cubes, of course, always need those. Jim, real quick for you. <laughs> yeah, this way you don't have to come in the wintertime. When really bad in the winter. Yeah. So at Crop King, you can get all of your supplies and they actually manufacture the greenhouses here. Um, you can get a whole greenhouse package and that's what our greenhouse is from, is from here. So a nice thing too is we only live about 20 minutes, so we come up for supply runs. It's New Year's Eve today, so they're closing early, but we are planning a more in-depth tour eventually, and hopefully we can go through their greenhouses too. That stuff should last a while, so we're gonna go back to the greenhouse and unload and then do some cleaning. And then tonight I'm going to harvest the desktop NFT. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Yeah, it's like a big mound of lettuce. Yeah, I can't wait to try it. I hope it's good. I'm sure it will be. These are some of the nutrients that are used that we picked up. Just a couple different things. And then this box here are the lids we needed for the Dutch bucket system. Got the van loaded. Thanks for your help, sweetie. Yep. Yeah. So I'm going to mark these boxes um, the date I received them because I like to rotate my inventory, make sure I use my oldest stuff up first, especially with the Oasis cubes because they do deteriorate after time. More bobbins. I'll put these new lids on the Dutch buckets quick. Now we're gonna do some cleaning. Mom's gonna do a section of channels over there that needs cleaned, and I'm gonna do some vacuuming. There's always leaves that fall down and they get dried up, so they need all picked up. And then I'll probably wipe down the fans. They tend to get a little bit gunky, and we'll see what else needs cleaned. Here's the vacuum. This is actually a HEPA vac, and it's important to use the good filter so we don't spread any mold or mildew spores around the greenhouse. You wish you could vacuum that fast. Cleaning along the nursery. Clean the light too. I'll wipe down the nutrient tanks. The reason why the cement is wet in certain spots and there's puddles like that is because in the winter time with the humidity, it condensates up on this seam 
and then it'll drip down, but it doesn't really happen in the summertime. Before. After. Okay, feels good to have that done. It's really important to have a clean and healthy environment for the plants too. How's the channels going? Not too bad, let them sit for a couple days, so luckily the roots aren't too dry, so it should go pretty fast this afternoon. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. Well, I think I'm gonna head out, see what the boys are doing. That sounds like a good plan. And thanks for your help, sweetie, I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you, thanks for letting me go to Crop King. Yeah, it was fun. Yep, love you. Love you too. Okay, it's finally time to harvest this. It's a butterhead lettuce that I seeded over eight weeks ago, and I just have the light 16 hours on, eight hours off. It's gotten so big that it's touching the lights, and it's just a massive pile of lettuce. I also moved the new seedlings down here because they weren't getting enough light in the windowsill. If you have a little system like this, make sure you check the tank often. I came down the other day and the pump sounded funny and I pulled out the emitters and nothing was coming out. So I checked the tank and about half of the nutrient solution was gone. So when it's dry like this, the plants will transpire and the nutrient solution will actually evaporate out. So I had to top it off, but I'm gonna take off this whole lid and take it up into the kitchen where I have a little bit more room. Okay, I think next time I'm gonna harvest in stages so I don't have this big bunch of lettuce all at once. Now that I can see it better, there's some decent ones in here, but then you got ones like this that are just really leggy. Okay, now we will reveal the roots. For hydroponic people, roots are a big deal. Okay, not too bad. They're pretty white. I'm happy. Happy with that. Oh. <laughs> Jeez, look at that. <laughs> it's got like a stem. This one's not too bad. I'm going to be eating a lot of salads. Here's the inside of the channel. Not too bad. It's just a little film right here, so I'll get this all cleaned and sanitized before we do the next round. We already ate earlier, but I have to taste it. So I just put a little bit of vinaigrette on. Mmm. It tastes like mom's. It's crunchy, and it just has that good butterhead lettuce taste. I'm happy. In case you're wondering what this weird looking thing is, it's a mushroom kit. I just have to spray it a couple of times a day with water and it's supposed to grow some yellow oyster mushrooms. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and that you're all staying safe and healthy. Thanks for watching.